Hello and welcome to Southern Wayne Conference Quiz Bowl. I'm Mike McLean, your host. We would like to thank the Wayne County Community College District for allowing us to play in their facilities. Today's match is between Dearborn Heights Crestwood and Taylor Truman. Let's introduce the team. Starting up top. Jessica Johnson, senior. Patrick Murray, senior. Adam Green, senior captain. Noah Eversole, junior. And once again, I'm Mike McLean. I'm the coach for the Truman team. And for Crestwood. Colin Hay, junior. Isabel Shoes, sophomore. James Murray, junior captain. Lauren Kimbrough, senior. And Crestwood is coached by Eric Chabo. Our first quarter is a toss-up quarter. There are 12 questions, no conferring by the teams, and each question is worth 10 points. Here we go with toss-up one. Used in ancient times to make a writing material, this reed-like plant was also, James. Papyrus. Is good, 10. Toss-up two. Separating itself from the traditional war novel, this story reflects the experience of its protagonist, a soldier fleeing from combat. Jim Conklin, Patrick. The Red Badge of Courage. Is also correct. Uh, toss of three requires four answers, all at the same time. New York City, the largest city in the United States, is comprised of five boroughs. Name four of them. Helen. Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, Queens. You got it. What's the one you missed? Staten Island. Staten Island, you got them all. Nice job. Toss up four. Hieronymus Bosch was considered a forerunner of what art movement? He was known as the master of fantasy. Patrick. Abstract expressionism. No. Isabel. Impressionism. Also no. Forerunner of surrealism. Oh. Toss up five. According to the BBC News, the maximum force one of these can withstand is about 4,240 newtons. That's equivalent to about 432 kilograms or 950 pounds. Theoretically, that would mean you could stack about 375,000 of them. Name this item, launched in 1958, and whose name means play well. Isabel. Legos. Legos. Yeah, by the well, way, play well in Danish is legut. Legos is correct. Toss up six. This mathematician, astronomer, and physicist said of his philosophy of mathematics, the book of nature is written in mathematical characters. Name this man found vehemently suspect of heresy and placed under house arrest for the rest of his life because of his heliocentric beliefs. Adam. Copernicus. That is incorrect. He also, James. Galileo. Galileo is correct. Toss up seven. On his first sally forth, our protagonist frees a young boy who is being beaten by his master by making the master swear by the chivalric code. The beating continues as soon as he leaves. He renames his neighboring farm girl as his lady love, Adam. Don Quixote. Don Quixote is correct. Toss up eight. Did you know that there's a state capital so small that it doesn't even have a McDonald's? Name this northern capital city whose state is famous for its snow skiing at Stowe and for its real maple syrup. Name this capital, Adam. Montpelier. Of Vermont. Montpelier is correct. Toss up nine. Name one of the two most famous artists who are principally associated with painting, sketches, and sculptures of the American West. Patrick. O'Keefe. No. And that's time. Uh, as far as I know, O'Keefe does not do sculpture. They are either Remington or Russell. Toss up 10. The Posse Comitatus Act of 1878 bars United States military personnel from searching, seizing, or arresting people in the United States. This law was passed after which U.S. president ordered troops to serve as federal marshals at the polls during the contested 1876 presidential elections? Adam. Grant. Grant is correct. Current events. It even had an Obama version. Released by Schoolboy Records, co-written by Tavish Crow, named this 2012 most downloaded song on iTunes, Adam. Gangnam Style. That is incorrect. Questions complete. That 
that just under time? Call me maybe. Call me maybe is correct. Toss up 12. On December 28, 2012, a Scotsman received the Order of Companions of Honor for suggesting it 48 years ago. Scientists are so sure they found it, Sarah Blognesi, a fellow at CERN, C-E-R-N, said the chance of having it wrong, Adam. The Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is correct. Named after Scotsman Peter Higgs. At the end of the first quarter, we are tied. 50 for Crestwood, 50 for Truman. It's time for Inhaler Wrestling! If you have asthma, we have news. Ask your doctor about the new CFC free inhalers. They're better for the environment and can beat your old inhalers in a wrestling match. Call or visit the American Lung Association online to learn more. We're about to begin our second quarter. After the first quarter, the score is tied 50 to 50. Our second quarter is a toss up bonus round. For answering a toss up correctly, a team gets a shot at four bonus questions. They will each be worth five points. Here we go, toss up one. From August 1786 to February 1787, Massachusetts was the scene of a conflict which involved a revolt by farmers who were thrown into debt because of weak paper currency. Name, Patrick. With Gear Rebellion? That's incorrect. Name this event. Lauren. Shays Rebellion. Shays Rebellion is correct. 10 yeah. points for Crestwood and a bonus. If I can turn the paper here. Crestwood. This one's all about tigers. Ready? Name the genus for tigers. Panthera. Panthera. Is correct for five. Still Crestwood. Name the most common subspecies. Any idea? No. Bengal. Is also correct. <laughs> Name the phylum for tigers. Question. Hmm? It's like lower than vertebrae, right? What, like a mammal? I don't know. Captain needed an answer. Vertebrae. No, Truman. Cordata? Is correct. Back to Preston for the last one. Name the last two years in which the Detroit Tigers won the World Series. 86? I don't know. I don't even know if that's right. I 84 and 86. That is incorrect. Truman. You want to go with eight? Answer, please. 63 and 84. 84 and 68. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All righty, toss up to both teams. Math question. Use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit in lowest terms as x approaches zero of, it's a division problem, so be careful here, ready? The top of the fraction will be x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x. The bottom of the fraction is x to the fifth minus 3x cubed plus 9x. Adam. Six over five. That's incorrect. <gasps> Time. Guys, everything's approaching zero. That means all the rest of the stuff gets thrown out. It's six over nine. But that's not in lowest terms. It's two thirds. Toss up three. Even though it failed when World War II broke out, what international organization, a forerunner of the United Nations, Adam? League of Nations. Is correct. Ten for Truman and bonus. Truman, identify each of the following concerning Japan and its culture. Number one, Truman, a form of Buddhism emphasizing enlightenment through meditation. Zen. Is good. One engine World War II fighter plane. Zero. Zero. Is correct. The title for the emperor used to name a Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. Mikaido. Is good. Fermented, slightly alcoholic wine made from rice. Sake. Is also good. You got 20. 
Toss up four, both teams. Due to an earthquake on August 23, 2011, it is currently closed. On December 6, 1884, it was topped with a 3,300 pound marble capstone and a nine inch Isabel. Washington Monument. Is good. Bonus for Crestwood. Biology. Give the phylum each of these animals would fall into. Are you ready? Crestwood, number one. Spider. Um, arachne. Arachne, I think. Arachne. No, Truman. Arthropoda is correct. Back to Crestwood. Roundworms. Anything? Answer, please. No answer. Truman. Nemotidae. Yes. Crestwood. Sponge. No answer. Truman. Mollusca? No. Periphera. Uh, Crestwood, last one. Coral. Mollusca. Mollusca? No. Mm -hmm. Truman. <laughs> Periphera. Also no. The old name Solarenterara or the new name Nidaria. Nidaria. Ten for Truman on that one. Toss up by both teams. He was a pianist who experienced great popularity in the 30s and 40s for his jazz music. Among his famous songs were Mood Indigo, Black, Brown, and Beige. The theme song for his band after 1941 was Take the A Train. Adam. Ellington. Duke Ellington is correct. Bonus for Truman. Once again, Tigers. <coughs> Where does the current team play its home games? Okay, just wanted to check. Comerica Park. That is correct. Where did they play before Comerica Park? Tiger Stadium. Tiger Stadium. Tiger Stadium. That is correct. Before Tiger Stadium. Um, name of, uh, hmm. Anything? Anything at all? Answer, please. No answer. Presswood. Ford Field. Ford Stadium. Answer? Ford Stadium. No, it's called Briggs Stadium. And lastly, back to Truman, Tiger Stadium was located at the intersection of which two major roads? Boulevard, I guess. And, uh, Woodward? So is it on Woodward and something else? Because I answer please. Something. Woodward and Rosa Parks. No, those are two streets in Detroit. <laughs> and those are two streets in Detroit. Yes. <laughs> Crestwood. Um, answer. Pelham and Woodward. Pelham, not in Detroit. Uh, no. They are Michigan Avenue and Trumbull. Ten points for Truman on that bonus. <laughs> Toss up six. Although modern hybrids usually exceed this, a good harvest traditionally predicted knee-high by the 4th of July. On a worldwide scale, this is behind Adam. Corn. Only rice and wheat in production is number one in the United States. It is corn. Bonus for Truman. Uh, identify the performer or group associated with each of these country music hits. Number one, before he cheats. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Is correct. The House That Built Me. Miranda Lambert. Miranda Lambert. Also correct. If I Die Young. The Band Perry. What? The Band Perry. The Band Perry. Is correct. And lastly, Red Solo Cup. Oh. It's, it's a man. <laughs> Tim McGraw. I don't know. No, no, no. No, no. it's not Tim. Um, it's Adkins. Answer, please. Um, Atkins. That is incorrect. Crestwood, can you take it? <laughs> what's the guy's name? Do you remember? I have is it a guess. I have, what's your guess? Jason Aldean. Answer? Jason Aldean. Uh, no, he's too new. His name is Toby Keith. Oh, of course. Yeah. Toss up seven. Everybody's back in. In the Detroit area, 
It would be the Fisher Building, the Guardian Building, the Penobscot Building, the Wyandotte Theater, and most unlikely, the WJR Radio Transmitting Building at Sibley and Grange in Riverview. New York City's Radio Music Hall, the Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building are three architectural examples of what style that flourished in the 1920s and 30s. James. Art Deco. Is good. Okay. Bonus for Crestwood. U.S. History. Answer these vice president questions. Crestwood. Who was the first vice president? John Adams. John Adams. Yes. The vice president that became president after Lincoln was shot? Johnson. Johnson. More. Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson. Correct. Who was Jimmy Carter's vice president? Was that one Nixon? Sure. Nixon. No. Truman? Mondale. Is correct. A Democrat for a Democrat. Back to Crescent for the last one. Who became vice president when James Garfield was assassinated? Chester A. Arthur. Chester Arthur. That's correct. 15 for Crescent. Five for Truman. Last toss up of this round. Islands that make up, sorry, that make one up are usually volcanic in origin and sometimes simply the tops of peaks surrounded by sea. What general name for such a group of islands, James? Archipelago. Is correct. Bonus for Crestwood. State capitals. Identify the capitals of the following states. Mississippi. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson is correct. Missouri. St. Louis. St. Louis. No. no. Truman. No. Is it Jefferson something? Jefferson something? Or? Jefferson. City. Yes. yes. <laughs> Crestwood, Montana. Montana. Helena. Helena. Yes. yes. And, and still Crestwood, Nebraska. Nebraska. Lincoln. Lincoln. Also correct. 15 for Crestwood. Five for Truman. That ends our second quarter. We'll be back in a minute to verify our score and begin the second half of our match. To find out how to protect your family, including your pets, in an emergency, please visit the ASPCA website or Tony LaRusso's Animal Rescue Foundation website. Be a responsible pet parent. Be prepared. Welcome to the third quarter of our match. The score after the first half is Crestwood 130 and Truman 150. We do have some substitutes for the second half of the game. Please introduce yourselves. Greg Thomas, Jr. Paul Patzer, Sr. Thank you both. Our third quarter is our lightning round. Each team will get 10 questions to be able to answer them in 60 seconds. Any that they miss will be rebounded to the opposing team. Crestwood, it is your choice first. Your categories are literature, art, U.S. history. Literature, Literature. Literature it is. For each of the following short stories, give the name of its author with 60 seconds on the clock. Crestwood, number one. The story is The Lottery. Pass. The Gift of the Magi. Pass. The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County. Pass. The Ambitious Guest. Pass. Hans Brinker. Pass. The bluest eye. Pass. To build a fire. Pass. Rip Van Winkle. Irving. Yes. The mystery of Marie Roger. Pass. The red pony. Pass. The lottery. Smith. No. The gift of the magi. Smith. No. Celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Smith. No, the ambitious guest. Smith. Hans Brinker. Smith. <laughs> the bluest eye. Smith. To build a fire. Smith. The mystery of Marie Roger. And we are done. You have one. Nine pass to Truman. 30 seconds on the clock. Truman, here we go. The lottery. Pass. To get to the Magi. Oh, Henry. Yes. 
The celebrated John. Twain. Yes. The ambitious guest. Pass. Hans Brinker. Dodge. Dodge. Yes. The bluest eye. Yes. Morrison. Yes. To build a fire. London. London. Yes. Uh, the mystery of Marie Roget. Poe. Oh. Yes. The red pony. Pass. The lottery. That is time. Truman got six, the ones everybody missed, The Lottery by Shirley Jackson. You win the lottery, you get stoned to death. The Ambitious Guest was Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um, the Red Pony is Steinbeck. All right, so 10 for Presswood, 60 for Truman on that. Truman, the remaining choices are art or U.S. history. So we're going to go with art. Art is. <coughs> Given the painting or work of art, name the artist. Truman, number one, the Mount Rushmore Memorial. Orgel. Yes. The Tahitians. No. Pass. Adoration of the Lamb. Pass. American Gothic. Wood. Yes. The Last Supper. Da Vinci. Yes. Washington Crossing the Delaware. Pass. Luncheon on the Grass. Mane. Yes. Guernica. Picasso. Picasso. Yes. Saturday evening post covers. Rockwell. Rock, yeah. Rockwell. Yes. George Washington on the dollar bill. Pass. The Tahitians. No, no, it's I believe it's French. Gauguin. Gauguin. Correct. Adoration of the Lamb. Vermeer. No. Uh, George Washington on the dollar bill. And that was time. You got seven. So three pass to Crestwood. Crestwood. The Adoration of the Lamb. Pass. Washington crossing the Delaware. Pass. George Washington on the dollar bill. Pass. That's all of them. Yeah. Uh, mm. Adoration of the Lamb. Jesus. Jesus. No. Washington crossing the Delaware. Man. Man. No. George Washington on the dollar bill. George. And that, <laughs> that is time. Uh, Adoration of the Lamb. The uh, one of the most famous Dutch painters, his name is Jan van Eyck. Uh, Washington Crossing, the Delaware, Emmanuel Lucit. And George Washington on the dollar bill is Gilbert Stewart. For that round, I have Truman with 130 and Crestwood with 10. So I have a game score Truman 280, Crestwood 140. We'll be back in a minute to start our last quarter. 37 million Americans, this is life, living below the poverty line. Find out what you can do. Please, don't let one more fall. Go to PovertyUSA.org and get involved. We're back to be in our fourth quarter. It is 15 toss-ups, each worth 20 points, so a lot of points to be had. Again, no conferring. Toss-up number one. Which U.S. president signed Medicare into law July 30th, 1960? Adam. Johnson. More. Lyndon. That is correct. Toss up two. It is described in the Three Musketeers as the process of arresting everyone in the house one at a time as they arrive home, and is also the title of a long running play by Agatha Christie. Name this contraption that might cause the world to beat a path to your door if you build a better one. Adam. Mousetrap. Mousetrap is correct. Toss of three. When George Washington was president of the United States, what city served as the capital of the United States from 1789 to 1790? Foreign. That's incorrect. Adam. Philadelphia. That's also incorrect. It was New York City at the federal building. Toss of four. The humanist Pico della Mirandola gave the true philosophy of this age best, described by this quote. It is granted to man to have whatever he chooses, to be whatever he wills. Name the age described 
by this humanist? Adam. The Renaissance. Is correct. Tasa 5. In 1643, Torricelli constructed a device to measure the pressure of the atmosphere. What liquid did Torricelli, James? Mercury. Is good. Math question. How many radians are in an angle which measures 168 degrees? Patrick? 11 pi over 12. That is incorrect. <laughs> that is time. I'm trimming. I have to caution you on conferring. This is a toss up. You're not to look anywhere but straight forward. Uh, the answer is 14 pi over. 15. Toss up seven for everybody. The famous line, water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink, appears in what poem by Sam Adam? Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Is good. Toss up eight. Matt Groening, a comic strip artist, is best known for creating his widely popular. Helen. Simpsons. The Simpsons is correct. Sorry, you know that. Uh, <laughs> this river rises west of the Continental Divide and is joined by its chief tributary, the Green River. Hoover Dam siphons the river into Lake Mead before heading before James. Colorado River. Colorado is correct. Toss up 10. Before building into a cone of ash and lava, this substance begins pushing through a vent to begin the volcanic process. James. Magma. Also good. Toss up 11. On December 5th, 1996, President Clinton appointed what woman as the first female U.S. Secretary of State? How soon we forget. Her name is Madeleine Albright. Toss up 12. What famous composer is known for such works as Cheek to Cheek, Putting on the Ritz, and Berlin? Berlin is correct. Toss up 13. The first defeated Braveheart William Wallace. The fourth fought in the War of the Roses. Give the common name for these British kings. The eighth one of this name abdicated in 1936 to marry Mrs. Lauren. Henry. That's incorrect. To marry Mrs. Wallace Simpson. Adam. Edward. Edward is correct. Last two current events. <laughs> Who? was Google's most searched person of the year. She starred in Wing to Exhale, The Bodyguard, and in the 1997 version, Lauren. Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston is correct. You saved me a paragraph. <laughs> Last question of the match. January 1st was the 150th anniversary of what watershed event in American history? The actual paper is being displayed in the National Archives. Adam. The Emancipation Proclamation. Is also correct. That's the end of our game. We have a final score of Taylor Truman, 420, and Dearborn Ice Crestwood, 240. Thank both teams for a nice match. Join us next time when Carlson would be playing Trenton. This is Mike McLean saying goodbye for Southern Wayne Conference Quiz Bowl. If you'd like to view our current standings, please visit our website, southernwaynequizbowl.com.